just to let you guys know, the date is the day after. Well, it's basically Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, it's the day after Valentine's Day right now, but. Ooh, Somebody's kids coming, are coming down. down. It's top secret information the kids don't know about, so hold on a minute. Alright, so. We're gonna tell, we're just gonna document this because we don't know what the crap is gonna happen, but. Something exciting and scary. So um, a couple weeks ago, I said, Davey, what do you want for Valentine's Day? And what did you say? I said a baby. Hey babe, what do you want for Valentine's Day? I was thinking um, a bath with oatmeal and hot chocolate. Bath <laughs> No, really, what do you want for Valentine's Day? Bath You know what I want. What? I already told you. Well, what do you want? A baby. Davey asks me for a baby no, for Valentine's Day. No, you asked me what I wanted and I said that's what I want. It's not asking you <laughs> How I can't do that. I can't just go grab someone's baby and bring it to you. And I was like, oh, someone's coming down again. It's just she don't know. She, she already knows, but she doesn't understand. So, okay. So, <clears throat> anyway, I was like, hmm. I I played it cool because like I had already been like not preventing anything and just ignoring my app, just kind of like in hopes that I would get pregnant and be like, surprise. And I didn't re realize that I could make that a surprise for Valentine's Day, but I wasn't sure if I was pregnant. When he said it, I was just kind of like, well, that's not gonna happen. Cause I was trying to really like <laughs> lay it under Davey that there's no way I was gonna be pregnant for Valentine's Day. So I told him that there was 0% chance. I'm like, no way. I think you kind of knew that there was a chance. <laughs> Uh, we're right in the middle of the flu right now, guys. <laughs> it's the day after Valentine's Day and we're all super sick. So. <laughs> Let me tell you how it all happened. So Sunday, I had a horrible, horrible nightmare. And the second I woke up, and I was supposed to have started my period that day, but I woke up and I had this horrible nightmare. And the second I woke up, I thought, oh, that dream was so vivid and horrible. I only have dreams that horrible and vivid when I'm pregnant. And I knew immediately before I took the test that I was pregnant. So I went and took the test. Sure enough, the lines pop up. So I was excited and I was like, sweet, Valentine's Day is four days away. I can totally keep the secret for four days. I was happy. I didn't cry any tears of sadness. I was just excited and I was like, yay, I'm like totally happy about this. This is great. And then that night, or even like in the middle of the day, EB stayed home from church because she was sick. And she had a fever and she was just coughing. And I was like, okay, well, I'll stay home with Evie. Davy has to teach, so he's gonna go to church. Well, while they were at church, I started coughing and just kind of like a dry, like, <coughs> like tickle in my throat. And I was like, huh, okay, a little cough. I can handle a little cough. Well, it escalated very, very quickly. And I spiked a fever, a very high fever, and I was coughing uncontrollably. And I realized very soon that I did not just have a cold. Like I was, I remember I had a friend that had gotten the flu the week before, two weeks before. And she was, she was like, this is the worst sickness I've ever had. I've been in bed. I could not even get out of bed for like 10 days. Like I remember just Marco Poloing her throughout her sickness and just being like, oh, that looks terrible. Anyway, totally was getting that. Didn't know it at the time, but I just thought, okay, well, shoot, I can't take any medicine. Cause I was only like four and a half weeks pregnant. There's like, I'm like, I don't even want to take Tylenol. I started researching, having a fever while you're pregnant is actually super dangerous. Hmm. Taking Tylenol while you're pregnant, pretty common. But they said like on the internet in the first like six weeks of pregnancy, you should probably avoid all medication. So I was like, oh, I kind of felt like I was torn between like taking Tylenol or just having a fever, which are both considered to be dangerous. So, but then I thought like, 
okay, let me just take a little bit of Tylenol. And the only Tylenol we had in the house was like baby Tylenol. So I'm like pouring this like nasty cherry baby Tylenol in a cup and like drinking it and gagging because it tasted so terrible. And that would only take the edge off for like three or four hours. And I did that like twice and then I ran out of the baby medicine. And so here we are like, I was able to suffer through Sunday and I just went to bed early and I suffered all the way Monday, all day Tuesday. Well, no, yeah, all day Tuesday. It was a long few days. She was so sick. I could not get out of bed. I was just drinking so much water, trying to stay hydrated and just coughing so hard that I was throwing up. Just like horrible, horrible fever and chills and body aches like you would not believe. And I was devastated because I thought, there's no way this baby can make it through this. Like, I can't even make it through this. <laughs> like, I was like, dang it. I just know. I just, there's no way. And so then on Tuesday night, I finally hit a breaking point where I was just sobbing uncontrollably in the bathtub, trying to like control my fever and shaking and hysterically crying and before I'd gotten in the bath I had yelled for Davy a couple times he was downstairs with the kids playing and I was just did you remember hearing me yell Davy no, I don't think so. I, you yelled back at me like Maybe. and I was like I need your help and you were like huh and I said it like three times and then I was just crying so I ran to the bathroom and got in the tub because I was just like so miserable and I thought oh he heard me like he'll come up soon 40 minutes later, I'm just sitting there in the tub crying, still like praying that he will just come in because I was like, I can't get out. I can't move. I can't. I just need a blessing. That's all I could think about was I just need a blessing. So I was about to pick up my phone and call him. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. I was delusional. And then he had walked in the room and saw me crying and maybe you can just like, he, I was like in the tub naked, just like hysterically crying. <laughs> Yeah, it was so sad. And she was like, I, That's how I, I told had a him. surprise for you. I'm pregnant, but I'm sick. I said, I didn't want to tell you till Valentine's Day. <laughs> so she was suffering through this, and I, I thought she was like taking medication, and she oh, was he just was suffering. He was bringing through. me medicine, and I was like having to hide that I wasn't taking it. I was like, Okay, you go do this. Like, I'll take it. It's fine. And then I'd like dump it down the sink, or because <laughs> I knew I couldn't take it. It was like medicine you can't take when you're pregnant. Yeah, and so we gave her a blessing, and he went to the store and he bought me Tylenol, not some, baby Tylenol. Got some medicine for her, and that helped me a lot. I still never took the edge, like it never made me feel better, but at least like my fever would kind of mellow out a little bit so that I could sleep for a few hours. But I was literally in bed for five days. It was so hard. Um, so now at this point, I'm five weeks. I made it a whole week. Um, well, I made it like six days being sick. And um, today I feel nauseous, which is a good sign, but we're just gonna kind of document what's happening and see where it goes. Because we didn't have like a super cute video to like announce to you guys that we were pregnant. We just thought maybe we'll just kind of document it this time and, and then release it when we have a little bit more knowledge of like if this baby's gonna be okay or, or what. Obviously, we really want everything to work out and hopefully we have some happy news in a minute. You guys don't have to wait very long. This is nice to you guys too because you don't have to sit on pins and needles. Part of me wanted to just tell everyone because I felt like I really needed the prayers to get through. But then after Davy's blessing, he gave me like a really sweet blessing. And here's the thing, like telling him at that moment when I was just like broken and hysterical, like shaking and fevering in the bathtub, it was so sad but it was like so tender and sweet too because like we just like he just gave me a blessing and then we just laid in the bed and he just hugged me and i just cried and it was like we bonded spiritually like it was something that i don't think we like obviously could have never filmed a as naked in the tub b like we were both just crying and i was miserable but like i just felt like it was something that was between us that i really will cherish forever and I'm glad we didn't vlog it, but we are still going to document. We're going to, hopefully this video is like a little piece of the beginning and then you guys get to see like a fun ultrasound or something and know that everything's going great for this little baby number six. Um, so, which really is like baby number nine for us. I can't believe I've been pregnant nine times. <sighs> Crazy. So, um, yeah, 
Yay! I hope you guys are excited. <laughs> Just a little bit crazy